There's basically three ways that you can control ignition timing inside of the distributor. Vacuum Advance, Mechanical Advance, or a locked out distributor. Vacuum Advance has a vacuum solenoid mounted to it and has a rod that is connected directly to the magnetic pickup. When it sees more vacuum, the magnetic pickup will move and add advance into the engine. Another kind of advance is Mechanical Advance, and that's directly related to engine RPM. Inside the distributor, there's a set of weights, springs, and bushings. The weights are constantly being forced out with centrifugal force, and that is what actually makes the distributor add ignition timing. The springs are trying to hold it back, and the bushings underneath these pins limit how much timing is actually added. The last kind of distributor is a locked out distributor. This means that the rotor and the shaft move together. This is really common in racing applications where you don't want the ignition timing moving around at high RPM and you don't want it being a variable in engine performance. It's also used when an ECU is controlling the ignition timing.